both the ego and the shaitan even if it seems that they're trying to tell you to do the right thing be suspicious meaning that if either your ego or the shaitan direct you to to either do something or refrain from something contradict to them because they are your enemy right or at least be careful if for some reason you know it's the shaitan right that neighbor who's no good right well then definitely don't trust at all. But if it's your ego, right, or yourself, and you don't know what's telling you, what's giving you this thought or impelling you to do this thing, at least be vigilant, be careful. The reason why the author put the ego before the shaitan is because it is more harmful than the other. The chaos, corruption, and discord that it causes is greater than that of the shaitan because it is an enemy in the guise of a friend because it's within your very self, it's you. أنا كنت نبيا I want the prophet وأبوكم آدم عليه السلام أن يرفض آدم may the blessing and the peace of Allah be upon him لم يكن he wasn't there so initially when Muhammad was created there is no Adam so the first man spiritually is Muhammad whether people like it or not I am saying this to you because when you read the Burda the man who wrote it he understood this if you are still thinking of the mouth you're never going to reach height. When you eat a nice, beautiful meal, three or four or five, or some cases, 17 course meal, <laughs> somebody invited me that, Sheikh, there is a beautiful hotel doing a beautiful meal, and I'm inviting you. I said to him, what kind of hotel? By the way, it's always three, five, seven course, but this is 17 course. I said, astaghfirullah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to kill me, because when you eat, you are pulled to the ground. When you make dhikr and you fast, you are pulled to the heavens. That's why fasting is important on the khalwa and the seclusion. <laughs>